Hi gang, Mrs. Monty here. Zoe's Hi. back with us. So we've been working on our underhand release pattern on throwing objects. We're going to take that down to the ground today and work on rolling. And rolling objects is a really fun thing to do and it's really great skill to use when we're playing games like bowling. So today we're going to go over how to roll a ball, what the cues are, and then I'm going to teach you how to play bowling with some items that you can find in your house. Are you ready? You ready, Zoe? Okay, so, Zoe, I'm going to ask you to go stand just over there so you can catch the ball when I roll it. Okay, I'm just going to use a small red ball, okay, and I'm going to back up so you can see what I'm doing. Just like when I throw underhand, I'm going to keep the ball in front, okay, and I'm going to start athletic stance ready, knees bent, ball in front. Okay, now when I roll, I'm going to reach the ball forward and then let the ball swing back behind me. I'm gonna take a step towards my target, but this time I'm gonna bend down low and reach the ball down to the ground and release it, push it away with my hand. And I'm holding my hand straight out in the direction where I was rolling it. Let me show that to you one more time. Thanks, so. here we go again. So, ready, position, ball in front, reach, swing, step, Bend, reach, and release. So when we roll towards a target, we can try to do things. Now in bowling, we try to knock down pins. Now normally we play with 10 pins, but we don't have to play with 10 pins. We're gonna play with six. And what we did was we took six things that could easily be knocked over. Now our pins, Zoe, could you run over and just get um, the Clorox bottle and one of the other bottles. And you, that's fine. So we've been saving our uh, disinfectant wipe bottles and our almond milk bottles. I think we also have an orange juice bottle. These are empty. Please don't use your grown-ups full bottles. Okay, so we've emptied, we've, we've used the product and we've saved the product. We're repurposing it. And we've set them up in a three, two, one line pattern so that they form a triangle. Now, if you only have three things that you can knock down, you can get rid of that back row. And I'm gonna show you a little bit closer up how to set the pins up. So you can also use some empty cans. And what I did here was I took my empty cans and I've set them up. This is actually the back of what of the rows. And if I could tilt a little bit here, you've got three, whoops. <laughs> Let's try that again. So we're going to set up. We're going to do one, two, and you want to leave a little space between them, three in the back row. And now I'm going to take one, two in the middle row, and one in the front row. Pretty cool, right? And then when you take your ball, and you roll it, you're trying to roll the ball so it knocks down the pins. I don't want them to fall off the tray. So at that time, I got two pins down. That would be two points. Okay, and you get two tries each before it's the next person's turn. When you bowl, you get 10 different tries to knock down the pins. Those are called frames. And what I have here is a scoreboard, see? Now, each of these bigger boxes is called a frame. And when you bowl, you keep track of your score in these boxes. And Zoe and I are gonna show you how to do that while we play bowling. Now, we're only playing with six pins. If you were playing with 10 pins, you could get up to 30 points per frame. But we're only playing with six Pins. So the most we could get is 18 points per frame, and there are 10 frames in a game. Anyone do the math on that one? 18 times 10? 180. 180. 180 points. So we can get a total of the maximum number of 180 points. Okay? So we're going to play. Zoe's going to go first. Um, and again, if you don't have a ball, it's a little bit more challenging, but you can play with your rolled up sock balls, especially if what you're knocking down is like a light water bottle, empty water bottle after you drink the water. Please don't waste the water, okay? So Zoe's gonna go first. She's gonna take her first ball. She's gonna walk towards the target, reach out the ball, swing back, 
and roll the ball along the floor without bouncing. Oh, wow. Okay, step out of the way so they can see what you did. So you see here, so we got one, two pins. I'm going to take those out of the way. She got two points. Okay, I'm going to return her ball. In a bowling alley, the machine would pick the pins that are still standing up and put those back down for her to try again. So now, on the scoreboard, in Zoe's first frame, this is frame number one, I'm going to go ahead and record a two in the top box over there because she got two pins down. Okay, now Zoe's going to take her second ball in the frame. And those knees get low. Good roll. Oh, she got two more down. So she gets another two right here. And then we add up both balls in the frame, and two plus two is four. So her current score is four. Okay, so now we're going to reset the pins, and it's going to be my turn. Right? Okay, Zoe, why don't you stay down here and you can do the ball return, okay? Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Right, my turn. So here I am with my ball in front. I'm going to reach my ball up. Swing it back as I step forward, step and bend, and reach. Oh, my goodness, only one is left. There were six that I started with. That meant this many fell away. How many is that? Five, good, six minus one is five. So Zoe's gonna clear away the ones I knocked down and leave the one that's still standing up. And I'm gonna go ahead over here, where it says Mrs. Monty, frame one, and I'm gonna give myself five points in the first box. Now, I'm going to try to knock down that last pin. Let's see. Okay, come on out of the way. Here I go. Ready? Okay, I'm going to start over on this side. I'm going to change my angle of approach. Here I go. I'm going to reach, swing back. Yay! I did it! Okay, now, when you knock down the rest of the pins that were standing, that's called a spare. And the way that you record that is in the empty box next to where you wrote the number, you're just going to put a backslash, okay? And now I'm going to wait. I'm not going to add this up to get six because when you get a spare, you get the total of what you knocked down plus your next roll. So whatever I get on my next turn here, I'm going to add that to six, and that's going to be my total score. But I have to wait to do that. So now, oh, Zoe, ready to reset the pins? And it's Zoe's first ball. I'm going to go down and do ball return. Okay, Zoe, good luck. Bend low. Good bend. Oh, three down. Okay. Take these out of the way. I'm going to return her ball to her. And I'm going to give Zoe three points. In frame two, first box, she gets a three. Okay, Zoe, your turn. Oh, two more. Okay, so now in this box, I'm going to record a two. Three plus two is five. Good, but that's not going to be what she gets here because this frame is this frame plus this frame. So it's four plus three plus two. So I could do four plus three is seven plus two is nine, or I could do four plus two is six plus three is nine, or I could do three plus two is five plus four is nine. It doesn't matter either way. Her total score right now is nine points. And now I'm going to go. Now remember, I got that spare. So whatever I roll here, I have to stop for a minute and add it to this total points. So it's going to be this plus six, and that will give me that score there. Okay? Okay, thank you, Zoe. Good job resetting those pins. Okay, here I go. Ball in front, knees soft, reach, swing back, bend, reach, release. Okay, looks like I got three pins down, so let me show you how to keep track of that spare. Okay, so right here, I'm going to put a three in this box. And if you remember, this meant I knocked down the rest. There were six all together. So that's six, and three more makes nine. Okay, now I'm going to finish out my frame. I get another ball, and what I have down there, I don't know if you can see that. See how over here there's like two balls, two pins off by themselves, and another one over there, and there's a space in between? That's called a split. That's really challenging to knock that all down, but I'm going to try. Okay, where's that ball? Zone? 
see if I can get this 2-1 split. Here we go. All right, we ready? Oh, I didn't get anything. That's called a gutter ball. I missed. So the way that you record that is just to pay, take your pen or your pencil and just put a dash. That means nothing. So now I'm going to do 9 plus 3, and my total score is 12. Now, let's pretend that you knocked down all six pins. That's called a strike, and you're going to record that by putting an X in that box, and then the next person goes. So Zoe and I are going to keep playing. Um, attached to your lesson plan today, I gave a couple of links. One of them is a copy of um, a score sheet that you can print or copy. And, whoops, I think I have that upside down. <laughs> you can make your own score sheet. You can draw out a score sheet. Um, I also gave you a link. If you happen to be playing with all 10 pins, I gave you a link on your um, that you can just open in a frame on your computer where you can keep track of scores digitally. And you do that by just clicking the, the person. And then you go up here and let's say that... Um, Let's say on this frame, can you see that? Good. So on this frame over here, I'm just angle that a little bit more because you got some light coming on there. Okay, I scored, let's say I got a strike, or Zoe got a strike. So that would give her 10. And then I would take my turn, and let's say I did six, and then I got two, so that gave me eight, right? And then it's Zoe's turn again, and let's say she got five. And then another five, she got a spare. So you see that was 10 points on her next two rolls adds into the X. So if you're playing with 10 pins, you can use the, the digital scorekeeper I sent you. If not, um, just try to keep track on paper. Or if that's just complicated, it's just fun to just try to knock them down and to just keep track of how many you knock down and see who knocked down the most. So Zoe and I are going to keep playing, and we'll check in with you at the end of our game. You set yourself up. Um, have some fun. And then um, let us know how you did. And don't forget to log in on your activity log. And we'll see you when we're done playing, okay? Have fun bowling, everyone. See you soon. Oh, good try. Okay, reset those pins. So Zoe just took her 10th frame. Okay, and um, she knocked down, a little close as you can see. She knocked down two, and then she got a gutter ball. So that's 33 plus two is 35 so her total score is 35 okay all right that's going to be my last frame reach swing back and reach. oh five down okay try to get that pick up so if I can pick that up, then I'm going to reset the pins and I'll get another turn. But I have to finish the spare first and knock that pin down. Which I did. So that's a spare. Now, because I got a spare on the last frame, I still get one more roll of the ball. So I just got uh, five, see what I'm doing here? And then I got that spare. So I get one more chance to try to add some extra points to that. Okay, so I'm gonna get the ball in front, reach it forward. As I start walking, I'm gonna swing back, bend low, reach it forward. And I picked up three more pins for three more points. Let me show you how that goes on there. So I'm going to put that three over here. That's a total of five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus 54. That's going to give me a total of 63 points, which is my total score. Okay, and if I come down to the bottom here, I have 63. Zoe has 35. I scored just a little bit higher, but I have a little bit more experience than she does in bowling, and she played really well. So we're going to congratulate each other for a good game.
She's not particularly happy that you didn't win, but that's okay. We did have fun, and I want you to have fun and find someone. And if there's no one to bowl with, you can just go ahead and just go for your personal best and do your best score. And I know you'll do a great job and um, record it in your activity log. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you next time on the Mindful Studio. Bye.